to the Honorable Chairperson of the Committee and the uh, esteemed members of the Ad Hoc Committee on the Bangsamoro Basic Law. We will give you a, a brief presentation on the contents of the Bangsamoro Basic Law. With your indulgence. What is in it for us? Chairman Iqbal has already laid down all the pretexts and context on um, passing the Bangsamoro Basic Law. Bangsamoro, passing the Bangsamoro Basic Law will end the long-standing suffering of the Bangsamoro people. The region that has been stricken by conflict, fear, underdevelopment, um, lack of education, poverty, is now seeking uh, recognition from the honorable um, Congress leaders to end the suffering of the Pangsamoro people. We also aim to foster unity and harmony to make the Pangsamoro part, feel part of the Philippines as a nation. We also hope to bring in economic development, help bring jobs to the uh, people in the Pangsamoro, give them access to education, and help them contribute to the progress of this nation. And it would act as a shield against a rising radicalism because we need to make and promote and have a place that, uh, where people feel safe and important. Next slide, please. The outline of the Pangsamoro Basic Law is shown. It has 18 articles and 242 sections. The preamble, name and purpose. The preamble of the Bangsamoro Basic Law. We emphasize that it is in consonance with the Constitution and the universal accepted principles of human rights, liberty, justice, democracy, and the norms and standards of international law. Reflected of our, reflective of our system of life prescribed by our faith and in harmony with our customary laws, cultures, and traditions. The purpose of establishing a Bangsamora political entity to provide for a basic structure of the government in recognition of the justness and legitimacy of the cause of the Bangsamora people and their aspiration to chart their political future through a democratic process that will secure the identity and posterity and allow for meaningful self-governance, including the right to self-determination and right to self-governance. What shall comprise the proposed Bangsamoro territory or where shall the plebiscite be conducted? The present geographical area of the Bangsamoro region, the present geographical area of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, six municipalities in the provinces of Lanao del Norte, Baloi, Munay, Nunungan, Pantar, Tagaloan, and Tanghal, the 39 barangays in the municipalities of Kabakan, Carmen, Aliosan, Pigkawayan, Pikit, and Mitsayap in North Cotabato, who voted for yes to, um, during the plebiscite in 2000 and 2001, the cities of Cotabato and Isabela, and those qualified for inclusion in the plebiscite by way of resolution or petition. You can see um, an illustration of the Bangsamoro waters and the zones of joint cooperation. There shall be created a joint body composed of representatives from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the NAMRIA and equal representatives from appropriate agencies of the Bangsamoro government that shall establish the coordinates of the Bangsamoro territory, including the Bangsamoro waters and the zones of joint cooperation. The zones of joint cooperation in the Sulu Sea and the Moro Gulf are, shall act to protect the traditional fishing grounds, benefiting from the resources therein, ensuring the connectivity of the islands and the mainland parts of the Bangsamoro so that they are parts of a cohesive territory, and ensuring the exercise of the preferential rights of the Bangsamoro people and other indigenous peoples.
The Constitution left it to the wisdom of Congress to determine the most appropriate structure of government for the autonomous region, that is the Bangsamoro, with the only caveat that its legislative and executive officials must be elected. The Bangsamoro government shall be ministerial or parliamentary in form, with the Bangsamoro parliament and the Bangsamoro cabinet. Legislative authority shall be vested in the Bangsamoro uh, parliament, with 60 members of the parliament, 50% of whom shall um, be from uh, representatives from um, uh, based on proportional representation, district representatives, 40%, 10% reserved seats and sectoral representatives, who will serve on a three-year term with no more than three consecutive terms, and the titular head shall be the wali who shall perform only ceremonial functions. The Bagsamoro cabinet shall be convened and presided over by the chief minister. The chief, chief minister shall be assisted by a deputy chief minister and cabinet ministers. The chief minister shall be elected by majority votes from among the members of the parliament and the Deputy Chief Minister shall be appointed by the Chief Minister from among the elected, elected members of the Parliament, and other Ministers' majority shall come from among the members of the Parliament. We have introduced the Intergovernmental Relations Mechanism, which is a mechanism that will coordinate and harmonize the relationship between the Central Government and the Bangsamoro Government, resolve issues or disputes on intergovernmental relations through regular consultations and continuing negotiations in a non-adversarial manner. All unresolved issues in the intergovernmental uh, relations mechanism shall be elevated to the president through the chief minister. The central government shall um, appoint a representative to the intergovernmental relations uh, body and the Bangsamoro government shall also have a minister who shall sit in this body representing the chief minister. There shall be a Philippine Congress Bangsamoro Parliament Forum for cooperation and coordination of legislative initiatives. And an intergovernmental fiscal policy board for cooperation and coordination on fiscal matters such as harmonization of fiscal policies and addressing revenue imbalances and fluctuations. As you can see, the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law provides for a provision on general supervision. Consistent with the principle of autonomy and asymmetric relation of the central government and the Bangsamoro government, the president shall exercise general supervision over the Bangsamoro government to ensure that laws are faithfully executed. The Bangsamoro justice system in the proposed uh, Bangsamoro Basic Law provides for the Sharia courts, which should have supremacy and application over Muslims only, the traditional tribal justice system for the indigenous peoples, the local courts, and alternative dispute resolution systems. The Sharia courts shall consist of Sharia circuit courts or the lower courts, the Sharia district courts or the appellate courts, and the Bangsamoro Sharia High Court. Local courts in the Bangsamoro shall continue to exercise their juridical function, judicial functions as provided by law. The Bangsamoro government may undertake measures to improve their workings boss, consistent boss. with the powers of the Supreme Court. On public order and safety, there shall be a Bangsamoro police who will take charge of law enforcement and maintenance of peace and order in the Bangsamoro. We emphasize that the Bangsamoro police shall form part of the Philippine National Police. There shall also be a Bangsamoro Police Board that will perform the functions of the NAPOLCOM in the Bangsamoro. The board shall form part, again, of the NAPOLCOM 
And the NAPOL Club shall ensure that the Bangsamoro Police Board performs its powers and functions within the bounds of its authority. On the issue of wealth sharing and revenue generation, please note that the sharing of national tax collections within the region is an enhancement of the existing scheme in RA 9054, um, or the uh, Act amending the, the uh, RA 678 on ARM. 100% of the taxes transferred to the Baksamoro, such as the capital gains tax, donor tax, documentary stamps tax, and estate tax, shall pertain to the Baksamoro. 100% of those taxes devolved, already devolved to the ARP shall also pertain to the Baksamoro. And the new sharing scheme is on national taxes collected will be 25% to the central government and to 75% to the Baksamoro government. On sharing in the revenues from the exploitation, development, and utilization of natural resources, Please note again that the sharing scheme provided is an improvement of the arrangement in RA 9054 which does away with the distinction between strategic and non-strategic minerals which are non-scientific and purely political classifications. 100% of the non-metallic minerals in the Baksamoro shall go to the Baksamoro government. For the metallic minerals such as gold, copper, silver, 75% shall go to the Baksamoro government and 25% to the central government. And for fossil fuels and uranium, 50% to the Baksamoro government and 50% to the central government. For other sources of funds, we now have the annual block grant, which is the share of the Baksamoro in the national internal revenue equivalent to 4% of the national internal revenue collection less the era of the LGUs. And a special development fund for rehabilitation and development purposes with an amount of 7 billion for the first year and 10 billion paid out over five years to be given to the Baksamoro government. Please note that the constitution ensures that all government units from the regular LGUs to the autonomous region, autonomous governments mentioned in its Article 10, shall have a just share in the national taxes, which shall automatically be released to them. Currently, LGUs enjoy this constitutional guarantee by virtue of the ERA. The introduction of the annual block grant is to allow the Baksamora the same or even greater level of autonomy in the management of its budget. On natural resources, we point out that we have provided the preferential rights of the Baksamora people in terms of the exploration, development, and utilization of natural resources of the Baksamoro. As to the rights of the, Baks uh, of the indigenous peoples on natural resources, the Baks proposed Baksamoro Basic Law gives them a share in the revenues, a preferential right in the exploration, development, and utilization of natural resources within their area, and free and in prior informed consent in relation to development initiatives. On exploration, development, and utilization of fossil fuels and uranium, preferential rights to qualified citizens who are bona fide inhabitants of the Baksamoro. It is also subject to the free and prior informed consent of the indigenous peoples in whose territory such natural resources are found. The proposed Baksamoro Basic Law recognizes and protects the customs, traditions, beliefs, and cultures of its indigenous inhabitants. The freedom of choice is mentioned twice in the proposed Baksamoro Basic Law. The right of the indigenous peoples to adjust and equal tra treatment and freedom from all forms of discrimination, oppression, and exploitation is mentioned again under the basic rights. 
protection of the rights of the indigenous peoples in the Baksamoro is in accordance with the UNDRIP or the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, taking into account economic and geographical criteria, individual and communal property rights, cultural integrity, customary beliefs, and historical and community traditions. On governance and representation, the indigenous peoples will have representation in the Bangsamora Transition Authority, and in, in the interim govern, uh, cabinet, the indigenous people's affairs, gender and ethnic um, balance in the hiring process for the bureaucracy. Bangsamora Parliament will have two reserved seats for indigenous peoples. There is also membership in the Council of Leaders for the indigenous peoples, and the par Parliament shall create an appropriate office or ministry for the IPs in the cabinet. Again, we mentioned the share of indigenous communities. They have an equitable share from the revenues generated from the exploration, development, and utilization of natural resources found within the territories covered by a native title in their favor. Please um, look at the decision-making levels in terms of plebiscite. For the present geographic area of the ARMM, we determine um, the votes based on province and city. For the municipalities, per municip uh, in the province of Lano del Norte, municipality. For the 39th barangays in North Cotabato, per barangay. For the cities of Isabela and Cotabato, per city. And for the partitioning LGU, per LGU. So we aim to have information campaigns and advocacies for the plebiscite uh, pertaining to the Bangsa, proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law and the ratification process. We aim to inform residents regarding the significance and meaning of the plebiscite and to help them vote intelligently. We include sectoral campaigns for indigenous communities um, and uh, there's a, um, Senator Bongo Marcos um, mentioned yesterday that he intends to go to the affected um, regions as well as those who are not uh, included uh, as part of the proposed Bangsamoro territory to, add, go, to conduct consultations. And for information campaigns and other public advocacy initiatives with indigenous communities, local leaders shall be engaged to lead, lead discussions in their respective communities. So we, the public advocacy initiative shall be conducted within the framework of solidarity, cooperation, and unity. And we give due respect to the roles of the indigenous and women to encourage their active participation. That is the last slide. Uh, we turn, return the floor to the honorable chairman. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation.